junk car Willie with you guys and gals and I have a treat for you today we're in Denton Texas at CTC Auto Ranch with over 3,000 old classics I'll leave the contact information but you can just Google CTC Auto Ranch in Denton Texas I'm telling you this is amazing to me amazing Now they got their project cars up here against the fence that they don't that are not uh, selling parts off of wow that 73 cutlass is nice my dad had one brings back good memories good memories 442 car mm, really need to ask about this and we're in Texas guys so we got a lot of rust free cars we're going to try to hit it today where it's cooler uh, you know if rain comes we comes but then we're staying guys we're going to hit as much as we can tomorrow can I film them all maybe not but we're gonna give them a heck of a try heck of a try They made them a took side windows in that one. Early 50 Chevy. Nice fair lane. Thing about this, guys, I get like starstruck, I guess is why to say it. And I just, I'm all over the place. So I'm going to try to keep it calm, guys. There's a few new ones in here, but basically pre-1980 basically pre-1980 like I said so I hope that you guys see something you like you give them a call I don't get nothing out of this but I'd appreciate it if you say hey junk car Willie I seen it on junk car Willie it's been an epic week so I mean last yeah week we could go yesterday I left West Virginia I did over 1500 miles I found a collection of rare parts and cars 50 years of collection of guys wanting to sell and did the ETCA East Coast Timing Association uh, land speed competition in Arkansas where I am their official videographer now that's a rare car I know somebody is wanting that one. Lincoln 66 convertible 57 Chevy wagon look at all these project cars I'm just gonna try my best to slow down not get all wild on you I'm gonna have to stop here in a little bit because of hit footage and change it over to my GoPro because of that I got look at them 50 556 Chrysler and Pearl. I think they're 55s. Clifford. Clifford Stapleton. You have a two door of those. There's some cars old Clifford once. And I've got them in my mind, so if I see one got a list where people message me hey if you see this one they were basic basic 73 impala like biscayne that's a bell air it says it's a basic one though nice 66 chrysler with the flames all down the side of it that's nice my dad had a 65 it was the letter car. They had glass over the headlights in the front. That's a beautiful 66. Stu Baker Champ. Bear with me, guys. I, you know, I'm not always right. I try to give you at least a year around that. That looks like a 64, 65 Oldsmobile. 
59 or 60 Impala El Camino. Say hi for the camera, buddy. The Hello. guy, the guy keeping it clean here, man. This is a nice junkyard. Yes, sir. Love the tax. Got to say that my boy, he's all tatted up, neck, face tats. Hey, I didn't like it at first, but be honest, that's the thing they do now. Look at that. 60 or 59. Let me look at the front end. 60 Impala, isn't it, guys? There's what's left of an El Camino. Do you guys, you know, a lot of parts cars here on this side. Project cars on this side. That's a big project. Shoebox Fords. Just trying to get away and drift down in there and keep away from the traffic. Might have to do some lives. The only thing I hate about my lives is, as you guys see them on most people's lives, I, I guess when they're doing it with the phone, they're a little shaky. Not the best content but I might have to do that because of my data just to get everything out and then I can make reels off that I want to get deep down in there this is what people see most of the time when they go by the highway here you Mustang 2's look at that early 50 Chevy trucks Suburban, 69 or 7. I had a couple of those. Got the pass back up. A little love needs love. That little love truck needs love. I had a 78 Cutlass. Mine was that maroonish collar with the white top bucket seats and console like this one kind of like limo firebirds Man, I just don't know. I guess I'm just going to go around the line here. See how many I can get pimmed. And guys, if I walked around every one of them, I wouldn't be able to give you the footage. And what I like to do is to find them homes. You know, you guys might see something in here that you need or parts, and you can get a hold of them. You know, you might want me to walk around the car more like I usually do. But... This way, I get more content out for you to see. I wish I could spend a week here. Got our stew bakers up here. I like the way they got laid out. Guys going around the weed eater. Keep the snakes from killing me. Or biting me. Oh yeah, what's that? Uh, that'd be mid 50s I remember seeing this as you guys can go back to him um, I think he changed the name to Denny Savage but uh, bring him back to life. He did a couple videos here a few years ago. That's how I found out about this place. Then I Googled it and there a lot of people that came in and took uh, pictures and videos.
man. It's overwhelming, isn't it, guys? I mean, if you're like me, each one of these cars have a story, how it got here. You know, one time it was new and it was loved and appreciated. Trying to keep out of the high grass. Huh? Hot here. Of course, it's cooler today where it's cloudy, but keep the snakes out. Because I'm bad about not watching where I walk, as you, you guys know. I busted my phone here last week. <sighs> Had the cover on it, but where I fell, it fell on three or four rocks, and they looked like gunshots. <laughs> my phone screen enough about that guys my pictures do just as good as my videos on Facebook in fact that's what I make my money on it's got me on this trip so I appreciate it guys if you would uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it and also on my Facebook page, follow it, like and share. It means a lot to me, guys. It, I take it as a personal handshake, you know, when you guys do that. And the reason I ask is, last month I had 18 million views. But only 1% of my audience are followers. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you guys hit the follow button. It's free. Hitting the old take a picture as I take a video. I learned that I could do that instead of taking videos and then stopping, going back around, taking pictures. I'm learning slowly, guys. Three years ago, I couldn't even take a screenshot. Look at these four paralines. I didn't know how. I mean, they're cool. Another 442 sitting there. Didn't get an aerial shot there. Man, these rust free cars, most of them are rust free. I'd rather down here the heat and tear tears the interior up. I'd rather redo an interior than work with a rusty car. Looks like this guy didn't want to take the whole quarter. He just wanted to piece it in. They've been in business since 1984. So, uh, 40 years. 40 years of doing this. Talked to the man Dave. Really nice guy. Had a young man in there helping him. Probably family, if not close friends. There's a beautiful 60 Ford. I like him fast back style there. I'm pretty sure it's 60, isn't it, guys? Getting into the galaxy section. I'd like to pull one out of here, but I'm going to buy cars off the guy I was at yesterday. I'm waiting on price list so I can start posting the videos. I posted some of the pictures you guys see. I am definitely got my eye on one, two, maybe three of them. But so far from home, you know, there's one. I figure I can get it running drive down with the trailer with my boy or somebody maybe my good buddy Jim and uh, drive one back and pull one back there's a Vista Cruiser Oldsmobile I love them things just love it somebody need that glass didn't they 
That's what's great about this place. This is what keeps our classics on the road, place like this. And they're getting far and few in between. And you don't find them like this. This is one of the largest. I'd say, uh, there's one in what's it, Alabama or something, but they don't sell parts and stuff. This and Browns here in Texas, I think it's in Sunset, Texas. It's probably, well, it is two of the largest in the USA. Right now, I'm in one of the largest junkyards in the USA. Just so many beautiful cars. I mean, I see cars. <laughs> I love to pull out of here and try to get going. I like how he's putting them together, you know, the Pontiac Grand Prix, early 70s here. Got the 60s, 7, 68, 65, I think, back there. Rolls and Bills. Gonna be a lot of pictures and footage. Man, I'm having a hard time with my dad. Well, I'm gonna have to take this down here in a minute and put up my GoPro and start videoing. Videoing? Is that a word? Videoing? Not, I made it up like junk car wasn't a word. That was two words. Not now. Google junk car Willie. You'll find out all my articles and everything. Nine articles, two by Roadkill, three or four by Hot Cars. Uh, Junkyard Master said I was number six out of having the best junkyard videos. Maybe this one will move me up. And the other five was huge channels. You know, I'm 14,000 on Facebook, 46,000 on you. Well, I mean, 14,000 on YouTube, 46,000 on Facebook, and them other channels had up in the hundred thousands. Love these Tornados. A lot of parts here it kept the other ones going. Uh, getting into the Buick Riviera section. Where's my boy Justin was here? <laughs> he would have a fit. saddest thing about this trip I live right beside my son and grandsons missing them very badly enjoying the trip enjoying just taking off and my thousand dollar van that I put a $45 cool pack on it so far it's been a good one I probably put a thousand miles or more on it before I left and never used the oil on it or nothing yet so we'll keep on going. Never had a minivan before. 2010 Chrysler. I wasn't really wanting to take it. You guys watch, I was wanting to drive the 66 Mustang, but couldn't get my salvage title into a rebuilt title in time where it had a mechanics lien. Enough about that. Now we're getting into caddy section. I see a bunch of 67, 68 caddies. all them beautiful automotives of our transportation history love the way they keep it weedy here so you can walk through seventy one seventy two Cadillacs Caddy section. Got a 57 back here. Four door. Got a 70 convertible right here.
mid 70s there 76 77 look at this this is a what's this this is a it's not a 59 is it 61 or 62 is what these are A lot of late 70s and early 80s cars, Caddies and Oldsmobiles and Buicks. But we know what we like, don't we, guys? We like the old stuff. Pre 72. Where they put them shocks on the bumpers. Had that ugly plastic. Like this one. This is what I'm talking about. And bumper shocks, they started in 73. Put the plastic here. Ugh. And they made them ugly. But it was a government thing. Man. Beautiful. Is that an Olsen deal with them stars on the side, guys? Getting a little lost on these ones. Pontiacs. Bet you it was a Pontiac instead of a Oldsmobile, yeah. Pontiac, Pontiac. I tell you, I cracked my head hard when I fell on that phone here a week ago today. And still, a little fuzzy, believe it or not, man. If you look at my videos from the next day, I, I was really worse than ever the way I talked. Even though I'm always messing my words up and saying the wrong thing sometimes on camera. Maniacs. I hope this video helps some people get the cars they need to get back on the road, parts they need. Getting into the Nova section. My buddy Jeff Gibbs would like this section. He's looking for a 68, 69, or 70 Nova door he lives in uh, West Virginia not too far from me West Columbia West Virginia if anybody's around that area it's got a 68 to 72 door solid Nova to sell I think he's wanting a project but he, he'd buy one if it's the right price finished Nice that it's right by the highway here because it gets more attention. They moved in the, they had started in 84, but they moved here in 1990. 40 years of collecting to move cars over here. Love the 65 Pontiac, 66, 67 Pontiacs. Little cars that was all over the place that we kind of forgot about until you see it. Citation, it was all over the place. Them and Chevette's in their day. A 
love these Pontiac 73s, 74s. Even though they had them bumpers like I was talking, I love that laid back look on the Le Mans. GTOs of that air. It's got a few up here. Getting into the Blazer Suburban. People like those. People say, you a Ford guy, Chevy guy, or a Mopar guy? And I tell them, I'm a USA guy. I like all three. Prefer 1960 to 72s. I mean, but I love them all. Three thousand cars. Wow. Rust free. You know, you think about it, it's worth the trip to come to Texas to get a rust free car than you know for a good price. Then you know, patch it up. Um, and anyway, if you got a little rust hole in a car, you know, that metal they're making now is not like the metal they made back in. It's better just to patch a small hole than cut a whole floor out or cut a whole quarters out. Now, that's my opinion. You know, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has them. So I'm just sharing mine with you. And I respect everyone else's opinion. I think that's how I've been getting along so good the last three years. Cup's half full now instead of half empty. Don't go through life being mad and hateful. Makes you have heart problems. Believe me, I know. After I recovered, this is the path I've been on and I love it. This is what me and my dad did in the 70s and 80s. And uh, He died a young man, 05. And it uh, kind of Got me away from old cars because I couldn't even talk about it or uh, see his picture even without bawling like a baby. But now, now not no more. I know he's with me. I know he's proud of me. Uh, the whole channel started as a, you know, dedicated to my dad if you look in the YouTube channel and in the description and the Facebook page description it was all started in dedication to my dad and man what a path that I started as a little hobby I never imagined you know over 5 million views on YouTube and I don't know how many on Facebook. We, we've got over 60 million this year. And we started the channel a year ago. But it didn't start really taking off to last November. We had 18 million views last month. 18 million views on Facebook. Getting in the dark section. Somebody needs the roof. They are bad about roughing, rusting up above the windshield when they set. Mice and stuff get up in there, make a nest, rot it out. Getting in the Mopar section, are we? Let's walk this line and see what we got. Got barracudas, we got dusters. Nice little shady day today. 70% chance of rain this afternoon. I hope it don't, because this would be great weather to do this all day. Especially after 103 yesterday. Whole different heat down here, guys, in Texas. 
Much respect for you guys. Look at all the. There's a five window. Dodge. Yeah, no, it's not a Chevy. That's a. It doesn't surprise me. Or maybe it is a Chevy. Tell me, guys. We're in the Dodge section, so no, I'd say that's a Dodge. Dodge did make a five window. Junk Car Willie with you guys and gals, part two here at CTC Auto Ranch in Denton, Texas. Get a hold of them. If you see anything that can help you with your project, they'll work with you. They've been in business for 40 years. And Texas, man, we got a lot of rust-free cars like this Dart right here. Got a dent in it. But it's rust free. It's hard to find a car here that's got rust on it. Be honest with you. The hood section. Get lost. They say, don't let me come and hunt you at five. And just leave me here all night. I'll find me a car to sleep in. into the Mopar section or we are into the Mopar section that's a cow moving away in the weeds <laughs> I'm glad that's what it was and not something else nice looking 67 dart my dad had one Slant six. That'd be a definitely good project there. Definitely. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as me. My best junkyard video has got over 100,000. Let's make this one better, guys. Share it, like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You on Facebook? Follow me there. Wow, that one had some target practice, didn't it, guys? <laughs> the old Nash, isn't it, guys? Pretty sure. It's on bathtub cars. Yeah. Because the the way the wheels are hit up in there. Nice cool day here after 103 yesterday. Supposed to have rain here to, later on this afternoon. But I hope it holds out because this is great weather for this. Coronet body saved a lot of other cars. I bet you. Well, look at here what we got. <laughs> it's an odd somebody took what they needed. And that looks pretty cool sitting right there, like that. So let's walk this line right here against the trees and then we'll walk back up and get on down that row the whole idea is is to catch all of them now I can't walk around them like I usually do but try to catch all of them you guys will see something and you'll give old Dave a call here Corvair, yeah, early 60s Corvair or something. There. The 
go sign at one time. Getting into the 66 Chevys I see right here. Let's go up and finish our Mopars. Well, that car got used good. It saved probably quite a few. That's what with these parts cars, you know. Um, you know, one of them probably saved countless amount of cars, you know. Got them back on the road or got them more solid. This is a great hobby, guys, for people that, that's not even into cars, that grew up not around them like me. It's a great hobby to get into. walk up this way and then come back down the other side. Got the Chrysler Imperials and we've got what here? Belvedere, I'm guessing. Love them big pins on them 60 Plymouth Belvedere's and Dodge, whatever the Dodge name was. The Dodge was the Savoy, I guess. That's what it says. My ride on the year, guys. I have a huge audience. My followers, they know a lot. Some of them guys know everything they can about these cars, a certain kind. So I love it when they comment, hey, Willie, it's this and that. And then they'll tell me a story about that picture. I really love that one of my pictures or videos triggers a memory and then I hear it. That's what's good about Facebook. I like that about Facebook. Got that section. Let's go about this section. Loving the Mopars, loving them. Now here's a wagon. You don't see too many of them that year. 1960, am I right guys? Around that. Look at them fins. Like I said, I like the way they keep the pass mode. Really makes it easy to come out here and look for what you need. We got us a bunch of 50 Dodge and Plymouths here. This one is a Plymouth. They make cool little hot rods. They all do, guys. Cruisers, hot rods, you know, I'm more of a, I like hot rods, but I'm more of a cruiser guy, you know. I like going to events, but. I'm more of a cruiser guy. Raced at the No Name Nationals, but didn't get to do that last year because of breakdowns. And I do have a three year plan to have a budget land speed car for to race at Arkansas. Um, you gotta, sometimes it's better to get out there what you're planning because people will help you and push you along. Like, hey, Willie, are you working on that yet? So. That's my plan, to have a budget five to $8,000 land speed car just to see what it'll do. Look at that old Cornet. Getting into a few Vegas now. Corvair, that Vega saved quite a few, didn't it guys? Some Vega wagons, these are big time 
they used them in the 80s for drag racers. I mean, that's a cool little car, you know. But when you get down to it, you know, I don't usually pick cars. They just, a good deal or something come along. I'm a poor guy. Uh, I'm starting to buy a few, but just trying to buy them like I did the 66 Mustangs, you know, bought four and sold two and kept the best one and the worst one. Just trying to fill my yard up with free cars. Oh, man. It just goes on and on. On the other side of the fence is more. That is one on my list, a 62 Chevy Biscayne. It's what my mom and dad started seeing each other in. My grandma, Ethel May, Herb bought it brand new. And I can remember they still had it in the yard, you know. Dad blew the engine up in it. It was a six cylinder, three speed on the collar. Back in, the, you know, the early 70s. I was born in 67, so they had it still. 10 or 15 years later. That's why I admire people that's had cars for 40, 50 years they had young. You know, they got to where they wasn't worth much. You got into something else. They kept them. I, I, I truly respect every time I hear that. The little Monzas. Now, who is that? Uh, Steve Meadows. I don't know if you want to come this far. There's a little Monza. Big, he's a racer in my area. There's some Monzas down through here, fastbacks. I'll take a chance and walk through the grass here. <laughs> That's why they keep it down there, snake area here. Look at all the Chevys, guys. Sixty-two four-door. That was a sixty-one flat top air two-door. See why they call it flat top? How the top real flat back here. It's different than six out a little bit more. Giving you a sky view because I'm taking pictures as I'm taking videos. I thought I'd get the most I could get today and then come back and maybe do a little bit more detail on some of the cars, especially the project cars. Usually I'm talking away and the guys, I'm just soaking it all in. Uh, 
That's a 58 here. I prefer the 58s with the tripods. I like the 56 out of the tripods. But I love these 58s. Bad spindle. Fifty-eight right beside it. Fifty-seven just gave a lot to save others. Can't walk by this, what, 56? Might be a 55, but I'm thinking 56. Dots and 280Zs. Walk around up here and turn around and come back through on the other side. Ranchero. Shoebox forward. Imperial convertible rare car. I don't edit, guys. I just put them up and talk and give the video to you guys to see. If you like it, I appreciate it. Mavericks. I like the 70 Mavericks. Before they had them big bumpers. My aunt had a 73 green and tan interior. This one reminds me of, so she had bucket seats. When we're test driving with her, there was a Hugger Orange 73 Nova 2 that she test drive. So I was sick. It was old. So I was less than 10, 9 or 10. I, I liked that one, but it had brake problems, so she got the Maverick. I remember that Hugger Orange, white stripe, hatchback. And we're getting into a little bit of the newer stuff, I guess. Let's get back into the old, old stuff. But there might be something you see. These V-dubs, you don't see them around. So, them, that body style. So, definitely parts there. 
little clock spotty Mustang. Uh, you'll have to check out my video. I got posted on my pinned on my Junk Car Willie on my William Herb page. I've got a notch back found in the. It's been set for about 10 years. 5.0302 car. Going to get it running, drive it, uh, take it to No Name Nationals, race it. You know, we'll put probably. 2,000 miles at least on it show you you can do it for a budget paid 800 for it plan to have it running and going less than 2,500 and then give it away in September randomly live to what you got to be a follower not just a viewer a follower on Facebook or a subscriber on YouTube we'll do a random pick on YouTube a random pick on Facebook and then we'll go live and pick you know pick it right in front of you guys and uh, so it'd be cool. And if you don't want the car, that's fine. I'll give you what I got in it. We'll keep a total on it. So, you know, you could get $2,500 or $3,000 or a Mustang. I'm going to run the piss out of it, try to break it, and then fix it. And, you know, just I ain't running that part, but it sounded good. So, you guys, you know, subscribe to YouTube channel and Facebook page. That way you get like a double chance, you know what I mean? You don't have to buy nothing. It's free to subscribe. Uh, if nothing else, right out, you'll be the end of September. If nothing else, you know, you'll get, if you don't like the car, which I can understand that. It's kind of new for me to, but I had a 79 in high school, so kind of reliving my youth there. But, uh, you know, you get $2,500 or a car, your choice. Uh, you know, I got 20,000 followers last uh, month on Facebook. I'm up to 46. I want 100,000 followers and just double my subscribers on YouTube from 14 to 28,000. But be honest, guys, when we get close to it, I'm still giving it away, <laughs> you know. But that was the thing. I, want, I, I really like to get to that point, you know. 100,000 followers on Facebook, which is double what I got. And 28,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is double what I got. And then we give the car away. So I guess they do crush some. Sadly to say. There's three cars that is shorter than one right now. Yeah, these sad, these sad pictures here, guys. That's sad. It's up to you guys. Figure out what one, two, three, four, five cars there. Figure out what they are for me. Post it. Uh, like these 55, 56 Ford wagons. Is that the right year? No, no, them are 54s. 53, 54s. There's one about ready to bite the dust. Etzels. Oh, right there. A 58 right beside it. 59. You guys correct me. I like to find out. Wagon. That is cool. Old Mercury. Back where we's at. Let's walk up the other row. Yeah, is there a row there? Oh yeah. All oh, this breeze feels good after yesterday. That 103 got to me. There's a nice solid board. Man, I like them, you know, the basic models. 
I like the chrome, but on some of them, I just like the basic. No heater, no radio. That's even better. Oh, that's a wagon. Seventy one to seventy three Mustang here at Convert with it. The bit of dust. Probably getting ready to get crushed. It was a rusty one. There's quite a few of them that's got crushed. Uh, look at the little Volvo. They made hot rods out of them. Looks like a mini. 48 Ford. Seven sixty-eight Mustang. Corvette. What's left of it? First one I found in here. Little Ford Couriers. Put in his bad shop. He likes them little trucks, don't he, guys? Found a little U Haul in Blytheville. Of one of those. Falcons. That is getting low. We're going to have to start a part three here in a minute. I'm going to have to shut her down. So if it stops, you'll know I'm changing the data. There ain't no ending, will he? You didn't say keep being you. I like taking pictures for people that ain't able to get out like I was for a long time, just didn't have the money. I just had a chance and pushed it. Still gotta make it back home. I made it here. So, 68 dart over here. Right here. And then right here. That car needs built. In the Mercury Cougar and Mustang section. Zigzagging my way through, guys. Junk car Willie with you guys and gals, and I am on the road. 1,500 miles done in the last week. I am in Denton, Texas, at an awesome, one of the top 
five biggest, probably top three old car junkyards in the USA. Uh, over 3,000 classics. And what I say classics is like, you might find some from the 80s, but that's all you're going to find. Uh, everything else is from, uh, I see in here from the 30s all the way up to the 70s mostly. I'm telling you, it's a great place. Uh, great people. I suggest watching all my, I think this is part four. Uh, we'll have probably part six. So make sure if this video is up, I hope you watch the other three. And I take it as a personal handshake for thanking me for my hard work to give you this content. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it and follow on my Facebook page. End of September, we're giving away the Rat Tang. It's uh, in my community post or on uh, pinned in my Facebook. 84 Fox Body 302 Notchback. We're going to pull out of the woods where it's been set and show you guys you can buy a car for under a thousand. Put 1500, 2000 in it, make it a safe driver, patch it up, and have fun with it. We're going to drive it a couple thousand miles and take it to American Hot Rod Station, no name nationals. And then that's in September 2021st, and then we're giving it away. And if you don't want the car, well, I'll give you what I got in it 2500 to 3000 I'm telling you guys, only thing I'm asking is I got, I want, we got 20,000 followers on Facebook last month. Uh, we're up to 47, so I know that we can get up to 100 by then. We need 100,000 followers on Facebook and double my subscribers on YouTube from 14 to 28,000. I know we can do it by the end of September if you guys share it, and that's what we'll do, give the car away. If we don't have it that numbers by then, still give the car away. We just have to, you know, put that out there. We got to reach them numbers. 100,000 followers, double what I got now. 28,000 subscribers here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this guys or Facebook I, I appreciate it it helps me get out of here I, the only reason I was able to do this is because you guys views went crazy on me and Facebook meta gave me some money for it so I'll keep doing this as long as I got gas money I will keep traveling I enough money to you know stay cheap and eat cheap I'll keep doing it, guys, so please do that for me. But you can look up CTC Auto Rents, Denton, Texas. Um, part one video showed all them project cars that they don't sell parts off of. Uh, this place is it's cool. Um, you know, this is the biggest one I've ever been to. And uh, I know it's in the top, I say top five easily in the USA for having the most cars. And, you know, a lot of them will have newer and older. This place is old. That's all they bring in. That's all they sell. They're still bringing them in, guys. So, there's always something different. If you ain't been here for a year or two, it's definitely worth the travel back. That's for sure. Let's take a shade walk. I know I showed this side over here in the first one. Let's get a real good look at all these Dodge trucks. And, well... That's an S10 cab there. That's about as new as you get in here, guys. And very few of that stuff. These are just good old parts cars. And Texas metal, guys. Very little rust. A lot of rotted seats. You know, that heat, like day before yesterday, 103. Woo. Different heat than I'm used to. in West by God, Virginia. But I love traveling, guys. I might just sell everything and stay on the road. Just keep on getting, you know, that's what I started this YouTube channel. Dedication to my father who died a young man in 05, but always loved junk cars. And uh, just did it as a hobby and like a vlogger, you know, I don't edit or nothing. Just put it out there. But you guys, uh, I'm telling you, you rock. You know, I appreciate all the views. Over 63 million views since the first of the year. We've had 3 million days and 2 million days of views here on, on Facebook. So Facebook's rocking. 
You need to bring Facebook. I mean, you need to bring uh, YouTube up. We gain, you know, we get from three to five thousand views a day on there, which still killer, you know. I appreciate it, guys. Help me give that car away, guys. Share. Check out the community post on YouTube, on Facebook. Look at my top pin post, the first one, the pin at the top. And you'll see what I'm doing. <sighs> I tell you what, yesterday was a little bit cloudier. Uh, you know, I hate doing that in videos. Because I just, I film with my phone, guys. I did get a GoPro, but I'm filming with my phone right now. So when it's nice weather, this makes the videos come out so much better. And you know, I like getting this content out. I like people telling me, uh, Willie, you know, that, that triggers a memory. They tell me of a memory of that car or that picture of a gas station I take. Um, I like that about, I like it in the comments, guys. It really inspires me to keep trying, you know. Some of you can't get out. And, and you know, if you're working and stuff, you see something along the road, well, you ain't got time. You're going home, you know. I'm a divorced man, no girlfriend, hint, 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 I'd like to have me one, a girl, car girl, man, to travel along with me, woman, woman, <laughs> don't want no young girl, unless, you know, I'm 56, I'm 30 year old woman, don't think 56 is too old, <laughs> I just, uh, I, I admit, I would like to have somebody to I've been divorced since 2016. I would like to have someone that shares my passion. That uh, really is into old cars as much as me. And not just, you know, trying to, because they like me, you know, trying to like my post and talk about something. I I, I want somebody that's, that digs this crap as much as me. And I, I mean, just to hang out and have fun with and take trips on. I'm not ready for no marriage, that's for sure. Had two of them. Don't think I ever want no more. There's the man himself, I salute him. Right there he is. <laughs> hey, I just love walking the yard here, guys. Just taking my time. You guys see something. Uh, also, I took over 300 pictures yesterday and well over 100 today that I'll be posting on Facebook or already have. Um, I just, right now is my happy spot. Uh, man, I, I just love, I love, I love the car shows, I love the racing, but it springs back my youth with my dad. We did it with no Polaroid instant camera. Travel back roads and junkyards, car shows, taking pictures. You look at photo albums of me as a kid, there's a car. Every picture of me, it's in front of a car. And my dad would quiz me, like, what's the difference between a 57 and 56 Chevy and the previous year and the post year? Uh, just, you know, we didn't hunt. Uh, we didn't do sports. Our thing was old cars, you know. I, Worked the mode yards and bought my first car at 13, my second one at 14. We didn't tear into engines. Our things was pulling a six cylinder out, putting a V8 in at the poor feral carburetor and headers. That was hot riding it up for us. And I'm glad I'm back into that. I, I feel a peace in my life. And I suggest anybody that needs a hobby, if you wasn't around old cars, Man, YouTube just makes it so easy to work on. I'm like, I'm not a Ford, Chevy, or GM, or Mopar guy. I, I'm all you about USA. If you ask me what I like, it's 60 to 72 is what I prefer. But you get something like my 70 Riviera or my 66 Mustangs even easier. It's just as basic as basic can get. I mean, it's a great starter car. Let's walk back down here again. We did it in part two, but like I said, the video was darker yesterday. 
love them 58 Chevys. I prefer them over the 55s. And another thing, 55 to 57, I ain't digging, dogging you guys the Tri-5 Chevys. I love them, but I'd pick a Tri-5 Oldsmobile Pontiac Buick over a Chevy anytime. Um, I just, I like the looks. Maybe it's because they're different. You know how when you'll see too much of something, it just kind of like, ugh. I like something different, unusual. And I like that this thing where people are trying to make their cars look ratty, that's, that's good cars. So I take a ratty car and just make it safe, you know, patch it up, make it safe. It gets just as much attention out of the car so it's the same restored car beside it. That's what uh, is just so darn cool. Look at the old, uh, what's it, 6970 Lincolns. I do like them big old sleds. I do, I do, I do. I see they, they have, there's probably about three dozen up there smashed. So they do smash them, I guess. That's up to you guys, you know. They gotta make a living, so you know, if stuff ain't selling that they've had here for 20 or 30 years, that's what this video is about. It's about getting it out. Helping not only CT Ranch, but mostly you guys. You guys that needs a part or something. You'll see it in the video. Or maybe just for enjoyment. Brings back good times. I like the way I said earlier. They got the pass cleaned out. They got their... They try to keep a lot of cars together. Like the Buicks with the Buicks. Or Rivieras with the Riviera section. I really... Uh, impressed by how they do it here hoping to hit another junkyard this weekend we'll see another big one here in Texas we'll see how things go what I'm hoping for. Shoebox fours all lined up together. Little shorty Winnebago. Gotta love the big pins on the Imperials, man. They were rocking it. 60, 61, 62, it's one and three. Man, that's just cool. Look at the gas cap. <laughs> just look at that hood. They call some people call it a toilet bowl. That is just beautiful. You know, they were big about cutting the back ends off and selling them, but I'm glad they didn't on this one because Maybe it costs a lot of money, you know, it costs a, maybe more money than it's worth to restore. But with a solid body like that, make a good rat car. Put your modern engine in it and interior. I mean, it makes sense that way, you know, guys? It makes sense. Uh, that's what I'm all about, finding the car, you know, for under a thousand and getting it on the road, counting. Buying it and everything for three thousand dollars, and then driving it for thousands of miles. Um, you're getting a safe car that way. You make it safe. You patch it up. Buy you an old hood. Patch your floors up if you have to. Uh, just like if you Google the Ratty Riviera playlist. You know, even an old guy like me that was divorced and thought the world was in. Passed him by and the good years and good days was over. Even me, somebody like that, could jump out of that mood and, like I did. Uh, let's not get into my story. 70 Imperial, I remember driving one of them when I was probably 12, 11 or 12. My mom would make me go with my, it wasn't a stepdad, but they lived together three or four years, to the bars because he, Got DUI once, got in trouble, so I'd had to drive him home. I know he died when I was like 13, so I had to be 11 or 12. 
<laughs> he threw a beer bottle out one time, busted a windshield, and tried to say it was me. Oh, he was a wild man. He's the reason I don't ride on the back of a motorcycle. I was like 10 on the back of a 73 Triumph 750, and he'd go 110, 120 miles an hour, man. I was, when he'd slow down to go around, stop. He wouldn't stop the stop signs. I was ready to jump off. He scared the death out of me. And then we was going up this little driveway to my mom's. And he wrecked it. And I jumped off and ran in the house and tell my mom, about, oh, my God, scared to death and stuff. And he's a little guy, you know. I was probably as tall as him then. And she was like, he laid his bike down. Why didn't you help him get it? Made me go out and help him get it up. It was a different time in, you know, guys. Uh, um... It was just a different time. Uh, you kept your stuff to yourself, what happened, child abuse, and you just didn't talk about it. It was a different time for me. I, people was like, I get my words mixed up sometimes and fumbled, but I did that all my life. Because I have these little dents in the back of my head. I remember being a senior in high school and them 16 ounce, usually empty, Pepsi bottles getting whacked on my head. And it really didn't start till I was about 13. Uh, my mom just, when there wasn't a man around, she'd come home drunk. She'd do that. Now, she did change later in life after I got out and was a Christian. And uh, so God forgave her, but I forgave her, but she never asked me to forgive her. I think the closest thing was, was, uh, you know, Willie, I always saw that you as an adult. And that was it. I love her with all my heart. It's just what happened. So, when my heart condition happened, um, I decided to try to live more positive and try to find a positive in all the bad, you know. And looking through them photo albums when I was recovering, um, I started thinking about my best times was with my dad, you know. They divorced when I was nine, but... Uh, after that, he always had a dozen junk cars, and the weekends, like I said, we'd do what I'm doing now, and he was just so much fun, and I never did tell him what was going on until later on in life, and I wish I did at the time, but I was just too scared, and he died a young man in 2005, and I just couldn't look at junk cars no more. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't look at his picture. Couldn't talk about it. Thankfully, the last four or five years, you know, for 8,000 miles, his 8 by 10 picture was in the Buick Riviera riding along with me. I talk about him. I'm telling these stories about him. I dedicated the YouTube channel to him. So thanks, Dad. When you guys see these videos and these pictures and you like what you see, um, I appreciate you thanking me. But, you know, thank my dad up in heaven, man. This is what it was all about. And you just don't realize sometimes how good you had it. You know what I mean? Um, and there was a lot of good times with my mom. But, you know, why did I talk? I, I'm just saying, guys, you can change. That's the whole thing. You can give up on that pain. And find good out of everything bad happened to you. I did. I had to try for a year, but it's been going on four years now. This YouTube channel's helped a lot. I'm telling you guys that, it'll be three years in October. I realized my biggest supporters in life was both my grandmas, Ethel May, Ethel, Ethel May Herb, Ethel May Deal Herb, and Desi Pearl Rollins Ripple. Biggest supporters, built me up, always said there was something special i mean grandmas do that but they was like overly proud of me and their hugs and i realized just the other day when i was getting a hug from liz leggett that just a friend that my whole life i've been searching for that hug from my grandma you know that feeling and i get it through the videos from you guys liking comments the people i've met I get that feeling now that I, I've been searching for since, you know, 40 years, 30 some, 38 years, so 56 now, I'll be 57 in October, so yes, you can change guys, yes, 
Don't say you can wish you could do what I do. Make it possible. Especially if you're a man like me, single, with time on his hands. That's enough about that, guys. Gave you a good lecture. I bet you I lost 99% of you. But the ones that stuck around, man, you guys rock. You guys rock. Let's see what we got over here. Beautiful day today, man. Probably only about in the high 80s. And I think, if I'm thinking right, I was told the C10 Nationals is here close in Dallas or somewhere. It's close to here at the Texas Speedway. I, I'm not from here, so I have to check it, but it's around my area. And then I'm uh, meeting up with Tom Smith, which can't wait to do that. Fast and loud and uh, Misfit Garage. Heck of a mechanic from, you know, closer to my area. He's up from, he's in a high. There's one they got maybe here. They're draining the grease out of it. So I see they come in here, they drain all the fluids out of the cars before they put them out there. I stick with the EPA rules, which is good for them. It's dragway Park, that's cool, but what's really cool is the Athena, finest in North America, you see them all over Canada, and then the Texaco sign. That Texaco sign is rocking up. Need a bumper? I know where some are. <laughs> Let's walk up around the project cars again. Let's get a better look at them. Uh, I know there's something, buddy, that needs one of these project cars. And you can call them, you know. CTC Auto Rancher in Denton, Texas. Let's Google them, guys. You'll find them. There's been a lot of people here throughout the years. So they don't stay in business for 40 years just for the heck of it. You know what I mean? Let's take a better look at the... There's a nice 73 442. Um, sitting high in the front end so it might be motorless. <laughs> Beautiful 67 dart out there. No interior but a rust free body. Um, out in the first cars. It should be up here I think because it'd be a great project. Somebody hit that thing hard up early. Yeah, I don't think I hit the row because the noise from the traffic that you guys can hear. I don't think I hit the front row up there. Well, let's go do that. Make this a long video. Share, guys. Do that for me. Make sure your buddies know who Junk Car Willie is. I'm traveling back roads all over America trying to find unseen automotive content. And I know this has been seen before by people, but I'm still getting the word out to a lot of people that didn't know about it. I love the state of Texas. I do. Around Dallas here, I'm the dent, man. This is a rich area, man. You just see, there's a lot of money around here. You come from a I think we're at least the poorest state or closest to it, West Virginia, and come to Texas. Whole different feeling. It's hard to turn down an offer to come down here and have a place to stay and make money doing videos. It's very hard as a single man. Something I really got to think about because I've got my my son and. 12 year old grandson, 7 year old grandson, and one on the way. And my beautiful daughter in law, Brittany. So, all that, take all that in. But, you know, they got their life, and there's a lot of times I don't have a garage when I got projects down in the summertime, but then winter times I'm sitting around there like 
you know, it was hard to get out of my depressed mood there after winter sitting around. So I know people feel that way. So that's why I'm talking about it. Um, you guys ain't alone, and you can't get over it. You, I went from my worst critic to my biggest supporter. And I know you all can. And you guys know I don't talk about this in videos. Some of the new ones might hate it, but this is like part five or six. So I'm just letting it all slide out today. Couple of nice little Jeep wagons. Galaxy convertible. Torino. This thing's got some little bit of bond. That looks that'd be still a killer body up our way. Cadobra. It's like them ugly cars. They get you know people don't buy them because they're ugly. Hey, because that was a big seller though. If I could just tell you. It become popular, you know what I mean? I am thirsty, guys. So we're gonna finish this up, this video. But I don't wanna get this, these ones down here. See something you like, man. I want these cars sold. I don't make nothing out of it. I just want homes for it. I want you guys to find the car that you've been looking for all the time. Look at that. That is a cool Chrysler wagon. Early 50s, 51, 50. The Windsor Deluxe. It's a Chrysler, isn't it? Yep. Camaro. Man, they were nice. That's why they got them up front here. Them panel trucks sell good. Or not. Yeah, the, these are sedan deliveries, right? Yeah. And the truck, or panel trucks. I like it when you correct me, guys. But when you get hateful and call me stupid, I think I've had, out of all these tens of millions of views, less than a dozen. I just block you and get you out of the way. But I appreciate when you guys tell me the correct year and tell me why it's different. Especially love your memories that you share. Uh, so we're late 30s here. Is that a Chevrolet? No. You know how I know? It says Dodge. It's got a 80s Ford step side on it. Well, we're getting into stuff that was on the first video. So I'm going to let you guys go. As always, it'd be a boring work if all the same. Please, whatever part this is, go back and watch the first four parts. And keep being you.